November is a great month for stargazing. The skies are darker, nights are longer, and while it certainly can get cold out there, midwinter chill is not really here yet to stay at least quite yet. So here with November astronomy events to watch for is AccuWeather meteorologist and astronomy expert Brian Leda. Brian, thanks for making time for us again. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jeff. It's always good talking to you about the world of astronomy, especially. Uh, and uh, I wanted to ask you about the first event coming up uh, on Friday night, November 3rd. And uh, what does this have to do with, uh, again, our largest planet in the solar system? Yeah, on Friday, November 3rd, we have something called the Jupiter Opposition, which is just a fancy way of saying that the planet is going to be visible all night long, and it's going to be at peak brightness, meaning that this is going to be the best time of 2023 to view Jupiter in the night sky. Now, although we are honing in on this one date, November 3rd, Jupiter is going to be visible, a great sight in the sky all month long. So anytime in November that you have a clear sky at night, you should be able to see Jupiter. Uh, it's going to be standing out much brighter than many of the stars in the sky. So you don't need a telescope. But of course, if you have one, this is a great time to set it up because not only will you see better views of the largest planet in our solar system, but some of the moons that orbit around Jupiter should be bright enough to see with the help of a telescope. So with meteor showers, a favorite for sky watchers, what should we be looking for around mid-month? Yeah, November 17th into the 18th, we have the famed Leonid meteor shower. This year, the Leonids will be closer to about 15 meteors per hour. But with that rich history of these meteor storms, you cannot rule out some spurts of better activity. So although we're anticipating 15 meteors per hour, maybe on peak night, we'll see closer to 30. We just don't know. And what is it about uh, the autumn season here, October, with the Orionids and then the Leonids in November that, that leads to these back-to-back -back meteor showers this time of the year? We have the Orionids, like you mentioned, in late October that's still active into November. And we have a couple other smaller meteor showers, and they all kind of overlap a little bit. So if you go outside any night in November with a clear sky, you have a decent shot at spotting a couple shooting stars. Now, there's not going to be a ton, but maybe 5 to 10 per hour, which for a random night of stargazing isn't that bad. And as we step into late November, come, uh, comes the final full moon of the autumn season. So what makes this one unique? But it does have a lot of weather-themed nicknames, including the beaver moon. Now, you might hear that and think, beavers, what do they have to do with the weather? But this is the time of year when beavers, they make their final preparations ahead of the winter months before they retreat into their lodges, uh, hence that nickname of the beaver moon. And there are a couple other more direct nicknames, including the frost moon and the freezing moon, because we get pretty frequent frost and freezes across north, most of North America this time of year. All right. Every time I talk to you, I learn a lot more new information about the world of astronomy. So thanks again, AccuWeather meteorologist and astronomy expert Brian Leda. Well, thanks for having me and happy stargazing.